What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Ro, because so I'm back at my locals, Koala League Gaming, for another Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. I'm actually parked in the back, like always. And yeah, man, it's Tuesday. I'm a little blazed, and I'm tired. And there's we still don't have a Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. I don't know, like, is it just me, or is the community not, like, annoyed enough by Konami? Because, like, the community split in the middle. First half of the community is, like, Oh, you know, whatever, they'll post it when they want to. The former is fine, even though it's not because we got a group of stuff like Misty Mine running around. The second half of the community is like, bro, we need a ban list. This is ridiculous. Nationals is over. We have a few other countries with their nationals, but bruh. And we're in the YCS regional season now. There is no reason why we shouldn't have an updated ban list, even if it's just something small like saying, hey, we banned Mystic Mine, we limited this one card, and that was it. Konami is on games. Nevertheless, I ain't gonna make this whole video a rant about that. This is obviously me going to locals to compete, playing heroes again. Last time I came here, I went undefeated, got second place, which is suck, but I tied. Technically, I tied with first, but like, I got second place due to tiebreakers. And the deck's been performing really good during out the format. So, yeah, man, we just gonna keep it up, um, run the same list. I'm looking for new content to post on the channel. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. I did make a community tab post asking you guys should i just do discussions um maybe master duel content or something of that nature and most of you guys like the discussion so if you guys want me to do discussions let me know also man 500 likes and or two super thanks is also the video go and yeah man let's get into it with all that being said without further ado let's begin All right, guys, coming to round one of the tournament, ended up playing against Flunderies. And for whatever reason, I, even though that everybody's been saying um, sprites and tournament's gonna be the best decks, at locals, like, a lot of people haven't been really playing those decks. I don't know if it's been due to a lack of ban list or whatever. But nevertheless, man, I played against Flunderies. And um, he did um, D shift to me. And I think he um, also, he did, I think he hit me with another hand trap as well. So I just decided to go Stratos on the Stratos and the Guska Pass. So that way, um, I didn't know he was playing um, Flunderies, I'm not even going to lie. I made Baguska because after he de-shifted, I was like, well, I don't want to try to combo off with everything else I got in my hand and just have myself get banished. So I'm like, he's going to have to play through this Baguska. Luckily, it stalled me a turn and allowed me to OTK on the following turn, which was really good. Shout out to Baguska for being a big BB defense guy. Coming into game two. Since I knew he was playing Flunderies, I did decide to side in Evilly Match, which is really good for this matchup because they do commit a lot of stuff to the board that's not like really um, in the gaze. They just have a lot of interactions. So Evilly is really good. And I did draw the Evilly against him. However, my hand was kind of terrible. I drew like double Evilly, I believed, and like two cross keeper. It was bad. And he just beat me on the following turn because even though I had Evilly, I had nothing else. And it was GG Nori. Coming into game three, I believe since I lost, I was gonna go first. Yeah, they did it decide to go first. And I decided in Solemn Judgments, um, just to stop the summons and things like that. Alongside, I think, yeah, just Solemn Judgment, that was pretty much it. Opened up Double Judgment, I think, and Perm, and that was it, no combos. So he went for the Flundery spell to let you tribute your opponent's cards to um, tribute to normal summon monsters, and I negated that because I didn't want him playing through my stuff because I had double imperms I figured out I could just imperm his monster and they get the effect which stalled me for a turn because I did have a ferris in hand and nothing else I top deck another ferris and it just popped off and it was GG no reason I'm gonna catch you guys in the next clip man y'all stay tuned all right guys round one over ended up beating on um, flunderies in game three um, yeah solid judgment won me the game I stopped this card that let you tribute your opponent's cards and I just came back and won because I never normal summon so I didn't let, I didn't let him get the advantage of the field spell and he just opened up ulti so congrats to him he opened up good let me see what I opened up man so yeah man that was an that was a pretty fun game but um yeah thought I was gonna lose I ain't even gonna lie y'all I break game three opened up three cross keeper but game I'm sorry game two I break game three I drew decent and it helped me win so I got some pretty good hard rare reboot salient Cassius. good fodder to have honestly and nope no ulti he got the ulti not me oh well I guess I'm gonna see you guys in the next clip man y'all stay tuned all right, guys, coming into round two of the tournament, I ended up playing against another Flunderies. Wasn't expecting two in a row because my shop didn't really have that many Flunderies players, but I guess people started picking up the deck after Nationals. 
because it has been doing really good. So my opponent brick. Um, so I just popped off on my turn going for OTK because I did have hand traps and it was GG no re. Coming to game two, I did the same thing I did against my last opponent who was using the Thunder Reef deck, sided in the evenly matches, and that was pretty much it. And it seemed like he didn't draw that well. And I did draw that well either. I kind of bricked as well. So I was just poking him with the increase, like 800 every turn. I thought it was going to be a swift 2 0. However, I kept top decking like hand. I forgot what I think it was like top decking like traps or what. I just kept drop top decking stuff I couldn't use. Like the bad one ups in the combo decks that you don't want to draw. And eventually his deck drew into some steam and he's going to OTK me. Well, not OTK me, but like gain too much advantage to the point where I couldn't even come back. So I ended up just scooping it up because, like, yeah, like, what can I do against all that? Negation, it's just too much. I had Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre does nothing against this matchup other than hit the field spell, which is pretty good. <laughs> and coming into game three, um, same thing, like I said, against the last player. However, he shifted me, so I just sat two pass. And I did have a double imp harm to stop his summon, and that was pretty much GG no re because you can stop their summons and they get their effects, they're pretty much SOL. So I'm we'll gonna catch you guys in the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, round two, though, we ended up beating another Flunderies um, in game three. Went to game three again. Same scenario. Um, he Actually, uh, no, I lost the die roll this time, but he went first. Ended up, um, ooh, what did he end up doing? He bricked, honestly. He just, like, set pass, and I just beat him. Game two, I bricked. It's kind of bad. We both were just drawing, setting, drawing, setting. I was poking with increase, but he eventually drew his combos before me and won, and then game three, literally, um... I drew a god hand. Now, actually, no, my hand was meh. But I drew pretty decent, though. Enough to slow him down. And, yeah, that was pretty much it. I did side deck the Judgments and the Feather Duster. Because, like, usually when I go first against Flunderies, I side deck three Judgments and keep a Feather Duster in. So that way I can stop their summons, stop all their big spells. And then that way I can, it can help me win. However, I didn't need to do that in game. I didn't draw those game three. I just drew, like, OTK hand. And then, um, yeah, I just had it. So... There should be two more rounds left, give or take. Um, still feeling a little blaze from earlier. I ain't gonna lie. I might title this video playing in the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament blaze out of my mind or something like that. I don't know yet. We're gonna see, man. But yeah, not blaze like smoke. Don't demonize me on YouTube. But you know, just blaze. You know, blaze, man. Elemental Hero Blaze, man, is in full effect right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I'm gonna catch you guys after round three, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Coming to round three, the tournament ended up playing as my boy JoJo and his Dalmatica Despia deck. Now, he does switch this deck up a lot. Um, I don't know if he sided into the Dalmatica stuff, but I'm just going to call his deck Dalmatica Despia because he also plays Dangers as well. So I might just name the deck Danger Dalmatica Despia. Nevertheless, um, I bricked. I went first, won the die roll. I bricked. I just set one pass. He Dangered and just otk me. It was pretty nasty. So going into game two, I'm going to um, go first. I did side in Rivalry of the Warlord in addition to the... Um, freaking dark angel the destiny hero dark angel and i went for a misplay now i ain't gonna lie i, I kind of like the one to show off the combos with the cross keeper and the um, liquid soldier to draw four i definitely overthought my plays so i was trying to go into um dark angel and just draw into a bunch of stuff however i could have went dark angel i didn't do it because i was hoping i can draw into it because i was going to draw four i did go through my deck a lot However, I did draw Rivalry, didn't draw the Dark Angel, so I just ended on that. I had Dark Law, so I figured, you know what, even if I don't make Dark Angel, I could still do Dark Law, DPE, Rivalry, and that should be enough to shut him down in game two. And honestly, it was because when he summoned the um, Dogmatica monster, which is the Alist Alistair, he went for his Fusion, and I flipped Rivalry, and it kind of stopped his Fusion from um, being played because he didn't have a correct target. And eventually, I'm going to beat him down in this game because I just had way too much advantage. Then game three, he went first. He bricked bad. I kind of feel bad for him. He opened up double of the um, the stupid um, freaking card that says, um, uh, it's that Frifer card. The little one that you pitch it from your hand to add poly. He opened up two of those and, yeah, it kind of messed him up. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. Alright guys, round three though ended up beating my boy Jojo. He bricked game three. So bad. But um I bricked game one, which also sucked. Epic game. Um game two. Game one I just bricked, he got it. Game two. 
Rivalry of the Warlords won me the game, literally. I kind of misplayed. I should have went for the safer route with um, making Dark Angel faster. I was hoping a Lux that can draw into it with the um, draw four combo. I didn't draw into it, so I played bad. But luckily, Rivalry won me the game. And in game three, he bricked, and I did OTK. So, yeah, there's one more round left or two more rounds left, whatever. Still undefeated. And, yeah, man, um, catch y'all catch you guys in the next clip. Ain't nothing more to say. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, we're waiting for the next round to start. I'm going to show more of the products they had in the store. They got some more plushies, which are pretty cool. Might end up getting one with a little Gato Mon right here. A little Digimon, man. Old stuff from back in the day. They got this Krillin that's pretty cool. Check out Krillin. This is actually pretty dope. Look at the design, bro. It's pretty cool. I like the detail on that one. This Piccolo is pretty cool, too. Oh, this Agumon. It is Agumon. It's fat Agumon, though. Really fat. Crazy. Um, we got Patamon, more Digimon stuff. Oh, this is One Piece, Chopper. Cloud. Dang, I don't know none of this stuff. I guess those are Digimon. I don't know. But if they are, let me know in the conversation down below. Oh, these are like cheap budget plushies. Yeah, stuff is always changing. Sword still here, ain't sold yet. Oh, ooh, Goku Black plushie. All these plushies, these are from different animes. Little Pikachu, colorful, little LGBTQ, YZ, XYZ, Rainbow Kuribo, um, Joey. Oh, that's 100 bucks, that's pretty expensive. Now I got these over here still. Same old ones, just different. We, oh, I think some of them, I think the Inuyasha is new. It's pretty sick. I don't know if it was in here last time I was here or not. I know the Silver Me Alpha was. You guys told me that was from a, like a Pokemon episode. Same old, oh, this is pretty cool. I don't know if this was here last time. And then more of these over here. Hey, this dude cool. This dude's cool. More of these over here. Like, I don't know none of these anime people's names. I just guess. <laughs> like, statues always look cool to me. Like, I like just looking at them. Apparently, Sailor Moon Solo is Goku. If that's true, let me know. Apparently, she gains, like, the power, like, to go, like, multi-universal. Something crazy like that. I don't know. Sailor Moon's goofy, though. <laughs> Uh, that's nasty. Hey, I think her name is Nico Robin or so, I know she's from One Piece. That ass though. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Yeah, that's sick. I don't even want my son just got that one from Target. Okay, yeah, those are new. My son will love this one. This is Nico Robin. Only reason I know because like her name is like really easy to remember. <laughs> then all of these. So they definitely reorganized everything. Oh, my bad, bro. Oh, One Punch Man. Heroes. Dun, 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 dun. Like, if I couldn't get copyrighted on YouTube, that would probably be my channel intro because it says hero over and over. <laughs> That'd be dope. I like that comma writer. I should get that comma writer for the lows. I have like 70 store credit, so I got stuff to um, kill. I got some money to burn. The Jujutsu Kaisen stuff is pretty cool, too. Still haven't watched that anime. Been meaning to. Just been putting it on back burner. The Tekken anime just came out. Gotta watch that one. If there's any more good animes I should know about, guys, shit, let me know because like I'm kind of like lost on what to watch. But yeah, I think the next round finna start soon, and most of those toys in here ain't. Well, this wall is kind of new. They have the Ninja Turtle over here. So I haven't told you guys this yet. So, oh, that's sick, Imperial Dramon. Oh my God, that's, that's throwback. That's throwback. And then um yeah, so I think we saw this over there. They got the Ninja Turtles right here. These old exclusive Ninja Turtle toys. 12 bucks, they're retro. I might get one of these. Is that an alien? D that looks like alien. Oh, that's definitely an alien. Okay, that's definitely, it's called Squirrel Lando, giant mutated biting squirrel. Bro, that's a ripoff of an alien. How did they not get sued for that? That's insane. Classic TMNT. That's another classic in the back. That's wild, bro. This is definitely an alien ripoff. More of these. I might as well go, go through the whole wall. All the stuff still the same. Power Rangers, more Power Rangers, more of that. These two dudes still dueling. You who winning? Him? He got he got you. Biker Tim for the win, man. Biker Tim. But yeah, man. Uh, ain't nothing much more to going on here. Same old stuff you guys seen, and yeah, snacks. Anyway, man, I don't want this clip to be too long, so I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, going to the final round of tournament playing with my boy Dom and his uh, Sprite deck. 
And, man, he's been on fire with his deck. The dude's won, like, every locals for the past couple of weeks from what I've been seeing. Um, he went first, won the die roll, popped off. I had hand traps, and it did not well, – I had double hand trap, actually. It didn't do enough. And he did what Sprites do, just played through the hand traps, set up, told. It was nasty. Coming to game two, I did what I always do against this matchup. Side in Solemn Judgments. Um, whole goal is to set up Dark Law, Solemn Judgment, DPE. And typically, that's enough. Dark Law is usually enough to like slap this deck down. If they open up the Dark Rule no more, they're screwed because they, you can either have another Dark, uh, another Mass Change or the Judgment. So, yeah, Heroes is a pretty strong matchup for Sprites if you go first. So, I'm going to end on Dark um, Law and Sunriser. And I did open up the Judgment. And he did try to Dark Root no more. And I Dark Judgment of the no more. So, he went for Deep Sea Diva. I Ash Blossomed. He went for um, the Dark Little Link Monster right there. I Ghost Ogre. Now, he probably could have won right here. He did play Misty Mine. However, I don't know if he was afraid of me um, drawing like a back row removal. And or he just didn't want to deck out because I was asking him casually during the game. I'm like, how, much, how, many, how many cards you play your deck? He's like, oh, 40. I'm like, oh, I played 50. And I noticed after I told him I played 50, he kind of changed his whole plan up a little bit because, like, if we were going to play the deck out game, I probably would have decked him out. I don't know. I did draw a lot of cards and stuff, so only God knows what would have happened. Nevertheless, he did, do, he did go for a good play. He Zeus my field away. However, um, I did have a good follow-up play, and I just won because of that. And then coming to game three, he's going to go first. Um, yeah. He's going to pop off. I don't think I even opened up any hand other than, like, Imperm, which I did Imperm, but it just wasn't enough, man. So I'm going to catch you guys in the um, next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. I got smacked by Sprites. <laughs> All right, guys, tournament is over. I got smacked against Sprites, game three. That's literally a dice roll game for me. Um, Yeah, if I don't win a dice roll, I lose, because they win in game three all the time. Too much advantage. I had double hand trap, which did nothing. And I debated on maybe imperming late, but it wouldn't have mattered, because they opened up the carrot. The other one, the gate monster spells, is a pretty much downhill battle. So yeah, I ain't even tripping. I'm just waiting for the ban list. Game two, he did Mystic Mind me. He probably could have decked me out, but he made a big misplay. So I did play 50, he plays 40. He ended up trying to out my field, which he did, but he gave me an extra turn. I top decked Imperm. Imperm is Zeus, OTK'd him. But yeah, game three was just downhill. So I ain't tripping though, because like, I'm doing good with heroes. This is like my fourth week in a row of going X1 or going undefeated with the deck. And yeah, I ain't tripping at all. So, yeah, I'm a little tired, and I guess I'll collect prizing and give you guys my closing statement saying, so y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, so I got 12 store credit and an extra pack. I'm about to open it up right now. Let's see what your boy pull. Once again, two super thanks and or 500 likes is always my video goal. Give me an ulti, give me an ulti. No, it's not an ulti. It's a snow, a chalice, which may go up one day, and it's a... Hercules Beetle. Apparently in the OCG this was hard to get at one point, I think. My history is a little off. But yeah, I did my boy Baker's profile. He top eighted his regionals with, I think, Sprites. And so you guys will be seeing that video probably after this video. So yeah, y'all stay tuned for the closing statements. All right, guys, back at home. It's actually the next day. I just got in from the gym. Still kind of hyped off my pre-workout. So trying to report, man. I had fun, did good, made it to the finals again. Finish X1, just one loss, which is amazing with freaking heroes, but this was to be expected considering the format. And a lot of you guys might be thinking, oh, Chris, um, why do you think the deck's doing better than it was last format? Simple. No Nibiru, no Droll and Lockbird, no Droplet. Not that Droplet matter because we have Dark Law. However, Droplet does hurt DPE and freaking... um. My other stuff that happened on the field, like um, Sunrise or anything like that. However, people are running Dark Little Lamore, which can be outed by Solemn Judgment, which I do side deck. But the main factors to the reason why I believe the deck is doing so good right now is because of the lack of Nibiru and the lack of Droplet. The hero deck just went up. Now, a lot of people already have been um, criticizing my profile, asking me, 
Um, can I cut the deck down to 40? Um, why aren't I running um, Dark Rule no more? And I'm just going to say this, man. Like, you guys play the deck how you want to play the deck. I'm going to play the deck how I want to play the deck. I've been playing the deck since 2015, off and on. So I think I have a pretty good idea how it works for me. I think this is the best build for me going forward in the format. 50 cards, no exceptions. I wouldn't change anything. Like the good old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. A lot of players like to change their decks a lot when ain't nothing wrong with the deck. So that's just food for thought for you guys. Um, sprites seem to be a dice roll for game, honestly. Because I'm consistently, when I go first and beat them, like if I go first and I beat them, I typically win in game three. If I go second, I lose game one. Unless they draw really bad, I win game two. And then I lose game three. So sprites seem to be dice rolling. Tierlemans seem to be 50-50 depending on who draws what hand. But yeah, man. Um, so this is just my local report in detail as far as the um, end of the video. So smash that like button. 500 likes to the video go and two super thanks. I'm going to continue to play Heroes until the format changes. Hopefully we get a ban list. And it's good. I'm hoping Max C comes back. Maybe. Maxi can come back. Hope it's missing mine. Get banned. Like the car is nutty. But yeah, man, tell me what you guys think. Comment section down below. One more thing to say. Also, vlogs are gonna be sporadically, maybe one vlog a week. Because like I don't know, I don't I don't remember if I mentioned that in the video or not, but I'm gonna do one vlog a week mainly because um lack of ban lists got me bored in the format. I can't see myself playing Yu-Gi-Oh! more than once a week, every other week, so Vlogs are going to be here and there, but they're going to be at least one vlog a week for you guys in addition to another video. Didn't get the profile from my homie because it was getting late. I had to leave and the shop was closing, so I wasn't going to sit there and get a profile. I just had to leave. So Plus, it was a Sprite profile. I mean, top 80 regions. I already got two Sprite profiles on the channel, so I'm going to be getting more Sprite profiles now that I think about it. But, um, yeah, probably going to bring you guys another... Um, Start so bringing you guys other type of content just to give you guys something to hold you over until I can do more vlogs because I do like doing these vlogs. They're fun, they're carefree, and they allow me to use my creative juices. But anyway, man, post your thoughts and opinions about this video. Comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. It's your boy, Rogue Hero, and I'm signing out. Peace.